When we talk about our sea being so damaged, we need the fisher folks to focus on solutions because they know the sea. When we talk about their culture, it's not just fishing, it's far more than that. It's the reading of the sea, it's navigation, it's, it's really our way of life. I'm Marta Achenza and I'm based in Bantayan Island. It's in the center of the Philippines. My work mainly focuses on fisher folks and I use the video camera as a tool. A lot of fisher folks have been moved off coastal areas and this has huge consequences to their way of living. There's two reasons for dislocation uh, on Bantayan Island and that's number one for safety because of the rising seas and the very strong typhoons that have started hitting us. But the second reason for dislocation and movement is also for commercial interests. The tourist industry is, um, is really what's competing with these fisher folks living on this island. For me, my work is personal in the sense that I'm also trying to understand my father, who was a sea captain. And in the 70s, he met my mother, who is Dutch, in England. I wanted to understand how he was going to all these other countries and kind of engaging with other cultures and how he was looking back at Bantayan Island. Tigpanalipud, which simple translation is the protectors, is really about um, this idea of ownership of sea and land and that all of us should not be owning these lands or sea, but we should be protecting it. I was able to be on this ship, a cargo vessel from Singapore, Thailand and Malaysia and I documented all these guys that I grew up with. I went back to Bantayan and I just had so much material. And the first thing I did was really go and visit the homes of the guys I had filmed and share it with their families, their wives. I was really surprised at how little the families knew of what the life of their father or their husband really was at sea. They were chipping away rust and doing quite dangerous work. The footage kind of became a way to, to talk about very difficult things because in the Philippines, we talk a lot, but we don't talk about important issues or difficult issues. Through the years, I've been teaching many young people to film. Now these young people are documenting and interviewing their parents, their grandparents. It could actually be really powerful in becoming kind of evidence of our culture being so alive and complex. Art is really that tool that can allow people to come to that space where they can imagine, where they can dream.